That's him. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's not just No, no, no. It's like a, it's a combination of different organizations. There's Fernwald and Wolf from Germany. There's the Federation Thai Industries here, also in in uh, Thailand. I just kind of get an idea. It's curious. Man, days of man, weeks of man, months. There's a discussion of activity wound of the tree. It's um, a small project, really. It's like 12 months from the duration time. Okay. And overall, it's like um, six, around six to nine months per, per organization. So it's not much. But we carry out quite a lot of this. Um, different types of seminars, like information seminar, were one day. No matter what's coming out, it's like two day seminars. Well, 12 months to 12 nine months to do a lot. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But it's not one of these projects like uh, EMA or other projects which are massive. So, overall, it's like a variety of different things in it. It's like starting from company projects and pilot projects where we also want to educate the people from the seminar to hand over the knowledge so that they use um, these approaches by themselves and create their own little businesses or supporting the entire industry so that we have actually also a know how transfer at the end of the project. So that it's not staying at the, um, the knowledge in the organization to carry out the process that it will be transferred also to the outside um, people involved. So it's like therefore a variety of different things. First like information seminars and content seminars where we go in actually into these different approaches for company controlling where they are also trained on different methods or different software solutions in fact now too. And then like the training of trainers for two weeks. And then we have at the end these pilot company projects where we take the trainers into these um, pilot projects in order to also show the practical sides that they can carry on. How do you how do you measure the success of this program? That's a good question. I mean, I've been involved in this in right. my lifetime, in this time, but for example, the world is also the data you know, big training center in the Peru. They claim these ports are revolutionizing the sanitation design of the Latin American countries, but there's zero evidence that the port has anything to do with this. To me, it seems to me they should have had some investment, but it's been going on for 10 years. For example, supposing Hooter was one of these students that finished eight years ago, I would ask the boss of his division how his performance was improved from going to this course compared to his twin that didn't go. Yeah, we're down, yeah, you know, there's zero money spent on evaluating whether you're achieving these objectives that you claim you've achieved. Their pronunciation, their presentation was, we had a wonderful achievement. Mm-hmm. We've had this course going for 10 years and we had so many students and this and that. But so I want to know as well, what's the impact on the system? But just to give an example, I was uh, running five complex projects just together with ourselves and other partners. And this is quite, I have still be, uh, been quite unique uh, within Invent in having all these projects evaluated. This evaluation has been going on until now, and as far as I got some feedback about an out of Invent, uh, the uh, EPA project on environmental performance assessment, also the EMA project, which is still going on, received very positive rating by this, these evaluators. They have been traveling around <coughs> and contacting different participants and, and employers and so on. But I agree in principle, we always need somehow monitoring and evaluation. But it's not yet that common in the whole system. Even there's a, sometimes a, a very strange understanding if you evaluate or if you have an evaluation, there must be something wrong. Yeah. Well, okay, what's, the, yeah. what's the third item? The 
what the third item is that we call is that EU Active IT project. Uh, this is uh, being sponsored by EU Commission through uh, Greece and Italy. That means that these two EU countries will be the uh, knowledge based provider. And three in this region, China, Thai, and India, will be the user, uh, the, the partner of the project as a user of the output. So the, the grid will provide some uh, technical information for China professor to develop a software to go for rehabilitation of the mining industry in this region. So we join them as a, a partner and we're going to test this software program using satellite inmates to do some basic uh, data for controlling, management, or monitoring of the rehabilitation program like planting tree or, or, or planting grass or cover land whatsoever. Every round of satellite passing through, the main or mine, they will get some image and then the, the software will do the, some calculation so that the main or mine can monitor what work they have done or what planning they need for their future and so on. This is program going to develop to read the satellite image by China. And then from that we are tied at, uh, at Memo, I will be just uh, the, the, the one who try or try out or, or try to use that software and see how, how good is it so that we have some feedback to EU for further development. India is going to be the same. They have their own my guide for experiment using this type of same strategy using the software that developed by by China. That means that this software will read all the satellite image passing through that area and convert into some uh, data or some uh, information for controlling or management or whatsoever. That way in the media. This again, we feel more or less just uh, the one as a student to, to call me with memo of mine to, to try to use the, to, to test it somewhere. And again, what's the budget for that is the question of 10 months a year. The the main money is not not very really high. What are we talking about? One week of work or a year of work? Oh, oh, about I think about three or four months work. Main money works. Who who funds that? EU. 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 Who funds this? Like the last two, the EU funded project. Different budget lines, like. No, the import funding is funded by the EU. By import, by personal import. So like How do you get That's your job, I guess. You get the money to the EU. That is Primarily, I'm not talking. Your job. My job. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's the key thing. No, 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 the third job is we get to our good reputation in this region. That means that we have to form quite a number of training or seminar or conference showing to EU delegates. So they say you have a good reputation. What's the evidence of that? Oh, the, the number of uh, participants show up for big events. Oh. The last time we, we organized for 100 something people come. Have you, have you written this up in any kind of newsletter? You see, <laughs> in reading these articles, what is missing in there is what I'm talking about. The evidence of the success. What you yeah, yeah. And itself would be a very interesting item. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. How do we know this, make the simple thing, how do we know this program is meaningful? Mm -h
They haven't yeah. shown up here tonight, so they haven't it very well. Yeah, but we always have the indicator by the number of training, training show up or, or number of training according to our schedule and so on. Because that, that uh, the basic requirement that there will allocate bucket for us to spend. What do you know talking about? Anyone comment on this? Um, EU projects pay instruction this way. There's like a, a way how to measure the project success in the project, which is done by indicators like participants, number of participants, and so on, where you can't really show the impact. The impact of the program you can show it only after. So what will happen is, for instance, in the project, in the teams project, what is the goal is that companies start using um, IT systems in order to improve their efficiency. Right, and this is... That's what I see so little of. Well, I mean, for me it's obvious, but um, in the in the project itself, when you when the you are for a proposal or something, you can't say that you will achieve um, this amount of energy saving and so on, because you don't even know the companies which apply this or how they apply this and so on. So this is like a, a figure which you can check after, let's say, a year or something after the project ended. If you start evaluating like um, what Dr. Tarun is doing in his... Um, well, when, you're, when you're making your proposal for right. simulation this work, why can't you suggest that there needs some budget for that kind of... Mm -hmm. for that kind of evidence? You propose that. Exactly. And politically it may not be permitted, but maybe it would be better enough. It reminds me of what the United States has had a huge program for federal funding of municipal sewage treatment plants. Democrats believe that if you didn't have this fund to help the city or quit building things. Republicans believe that this is a terrible thing that the city itself should be responsible and can build it without the money. So this is a huge program at that time for seven hundred million a year. So my question is why don't we get seven hundred million dollars that the Russian Committee agreed? The seven hundred million million problem with that. I want to two million to find out what the facts are. Do some drop down to earth and give us the What the city thought. Neither neither Republican or Democrat would allow that at all. Never mind, they're all made up on the answers. They got similar experience, in the, especially in the biotech field, because I was the only one in uh, CBG and then who was with uh, biotech. And um, when I returned to Germany, I was set up in the long term training program on industrial biotech in Germany. And the ministry was right. They said, okay, after several courses have uh, been running, there is an evaluation needed. I fully agree. So we have a uh, re evaluation every uh, uh, termination of a, of a program. And I allotted them for the, uh, and I, I was asked to build a project around this long term training program. I put also budget in for evaluation, even uh, more or less uh, a study uh, to survey what is the value of the market situation in Germany and so on. Immediately it was slashed by, by my immediate supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's ridiculous. You disturbed me.